Hiya beautiful people and welcome back to the Segan's Giving series. If you're new to my channel, my name is Segan Vizgina and I'm going to be sharing Thanksgiving recipes all week long. So, so far we've made cranberry sauce, homemade cornbread, homemade mashed potatoes from scratch, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my homemade stuffing. But first, you already know, I have to give a major shout out to the following people right over here. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. If you want a shout out like them, all you have to do is click the notification bell, let me know that you're a new subscriber in the comment section down below, and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. Also, before we get started, I wanna let you guys know that all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So if you're interested to see how I make my quick and easy Thanksgiving stuffing continue watching so to get started on the stuffing I'm gonna start off okay do you see how that's wiggly I am going to first show you guys this kitchen hack that I love to do when I'm cooking on a cutting board. I get really annoyed when I'm chopping and the cutting board is wiggly. So what I like to do is I like to take a damp cloth or a paper towel and put it right underneath the cutting board. That way it's more sturdy. It's much more sturdier now. Now to get started on the stuffing, let's get started on chopping up some onions. So I'm going to be using one whole white onion for this recipe. So I'm gonna start off by chopping that. If you're just starting off uh, with cooking and you're kind of sensitive to onions or they make you very like, you know, teary eyed or something like that, a good hack in the kitchen is to actually wear sunglasses. Um, I've seen a few people actually do that and uh, it works. So if you are really sensitive to onions and they make you cry, wear sunglasses in the kitchen. You'll look really cool anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take out the skin here. I'm not gonna take out the butt just yet. I'm just gonna leave that in because that's gonna help us with chopping. Again, if you're new to kind of, you know, chopping up onions and you know, it's all over the place, a really good hack is to make sure that the butt of it or the root of it is still there. Um, so I'm just gonna peel the skin on the other half and then we'll get started to chopping. But first I'm going to rinse these real quick. All right, so to get started on chopping the onions, I'm just going to chop them up like this really easy. It's not going all over the place as you can see. Just chopping it, moving it off to the side, and then I'm gonna chop it like this. See how it's still intact? I'm not like, it's not going all over the place. It's because we still have this part right over here to kind of help us, so. We can toss that. I'm just gonna chop up those big pieces, just a little smaller. And we just cut onions in like no time. You can use a food processor if you like, um, but I don't know, I just can't really be bothered with a lot of cooking equipment, so I just rather quickly just chop it off. Also, this recipe works if you have yellow onion as well. I like to use white onion for this recipe. Ooh, my eyes are tingling now, guys. Holy smokes, okay. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna prep our pot and we're gonna get started with some olive oil and some butter. So I absolutely love using this pot. I've got, I got this pot years ago from Marshalls. I got this pot in a beautiful burnt orange and it goes perfectly for when I serve my stuffing every year. So I'm gonna get started with some olive oil and some butter. I'm gonna first turn on the heat at a medium high and I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil. And I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of butter. So I'm gonna let that melt, and as that melts, I'm going to chop up some garlic. So I'm gonna move the onions off to the side because we're all gonna add it in all together. So I'm going to peel the garlic. I'm gonna do that really quickly. I might speed ramp through this process, but I'm actually gonna be using a few cloves. I personally love garlic. I feel the minute you smell garlic, you're in for a treat. So I gave him a quick rinse. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, but I love to use a garlic press. I feel everybody should own a garlic press, whether you are huge on cooking or whether you're kind of 
at a beginner level, everybody should own a garlic press. It's a time saver and it's super inexpensive. So I feel everybody should get it. All right, so I'm looking at my pot and it's ready for our onions. All right, so the butter is nice and melted. So I'm going to add our onions. So I'm gonna get the onions to sweat out a little bit before we add in our garlic. And guys, it already smells so good. All right, so I'm gonna take my handy garlic press and add some garlic. Just get my knife, take off the excess there, awesome. And I'm gonna do the same. Okay, we are in business. I mean, the minute I add garlic to any of my, you know, meals, it is, oh, it's a game changer. All right, so to this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So next, I'm gonna add fresh thyme. I just rinsed this real quick. And with thyme, all you gotta do is go backward. Ever sometimes we can do that with like real time. <laughs> Corny joke, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, all you have to do to get the time leaves is go backwards and you are left with time. So that's what I like to do. I feel when I smell time, I immediately think about Thanksgiving. I immediately think about stuffing. Oh, I just feel time is just so fragrant and I love how like it's in season right now and it goes well with chicken turkey everything oh my god oh it's looking really good already oh my god okay so I'm gonna bring down the heat to a medium low and we're gonna get started with chopping some vegetables so I'm going to get started with chopping up some carrots so I'm actually gonna take one carrot I'm going to give it a good rinse and I'm going to peel off the skin so I'm just gonna take my peeler, my potato peeler, and I'm just going to peel it. If you don't have a potato peeler, um, you could just use a knife, but you have to be very careful and skin it like this. That's how my mom actually used to do it back in the day. But then I discovered a potato peeler and I'm just like, okay, well this is much easier. So I just peel it like this. But if you don't happen to have one, it's okay. Just use the knife, but just be extra careful. So to get started, I'm gonna chop off the top, sorry, the bottom and then the top. Just gonna remove that. And then I'm going to cut it off in sections because I wanna be safe. I'm not trying to cut it all the way in the middle. So I'm just going to cut it in sections. And then for bigger pieces, I'm actually gonna cut a little bit more. It's not just halves, so I'm just going to chop it, chop it up. It smells so good in here, oh my god. And I'm going to do the same for the other pieces. Alright, so from here, I'm just going to chop them up into smaller pieces. Do you guys see that? So our carrots are nice and chopped up. So I have a bowl here, so I'm going to just transfer it over and make some space for the celery. So I'm going to take two pieces of celery, but be very mindful when you are shopping produce, um, especially make sure you are cleaning your produce thoroughly. I've said this in past videos, but I have to emphasize it every single time because sometimes what I see might not come across the camera, but this is pretty evident. So please make sure you clean your produce. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing right now. Beautiful. So you see it's all nice and clean and I'm ready to chop. So I'm just gonna chop off the ends here. 
I mean, despite not using those two pieces, you still gotta clean them. <laughs> so I'm just going to split uh, the celery stalk into two as so, and I'm just going to chop it up. I'm gonna do the same to the other one, just right down the middle. And chop. Make sure you don't chop up your fingers. Be very careful and also take your time. You see that? I just wiped that off of the celery. Just now, just wiped it off. Clean your produce, guys. Clean your produce. So this is the chicken stock that I'm gonna be using. It has 30% less sodium, so if you guys are cautious about your salt intake, your sodium intake, and you're kind of monitoring that, always go for you know the low sodium option. So our onions and our garlic are dancing away. They're actually singing to us. They are ready for our celery. So I'm gonna add the celery in first, and then I'm going to add our carrots. Look at how beautiful these colors look. Look! So much better than store-bought. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Everything is all beginner level, so we can do this together. So I'm gonna let the carrots and the celery cook down just a little bit, and then we'll add the stock. But in the meantime, I'm, I am gonna add a little bit more thyme. I do love thyme, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of that. So the celery and the carrots are nice and softened up. So I'm now gonna add the chicken stock. Keep in mind, you can substitute the chicken stock with vegetable stock. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs and the bread is gonna soak up all of that liquid. All right, so let's check up on our stuffing. Okay, so it's nice and simmered. So I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. Beautiful. So it's just gonna soak in all of that goodness. It gets all of that seasoning, all the onions, the thyme, the garlic, all of that. And I'm gonna chop up some parsley and bring this stuffing to another level. Making sure all of that is incorporated so I have our parsley, so I'm just gonna quickly wash this off and then we're gonna get started on chopping it. All right, so I'm just gonna take away the stems, toss that off to the side, and I'm just gonna focus on the leaves here. This is my express way of getting all the leaves and not the stems. Awesome. So now that we chopped up the parsley, it's ready to be added to the stuffing. Just gonna add the parsley. I'm just going to mix that in. That way it's nicely incorporated. Beautiful. So I'm gonna give this another 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, we are going to broil it so that the top is nice and crispy. And then that's how to make my homemade stuffing. From scratch, not out of the box. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy stuffing recipe. If you guys like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!